Hey guys, Frax1006, aka Wonder Mutt, here again, and just wanted to do a quick follow-up video um, to the video that I had done on how to install Ubuntu in a uh, or in VMware um, Player version 3.0.0. Um, what I want to do is actually show you how to have the virtual machine utilize all eight threads of your CPU. Um, if you're using a 2600 or a 2700K processor, um, or if you're using an AMD CPU that uh, has more than four cores, if it has six cores or eight cores, um, this will be how you'll want to uh, go ahead and set up the virtual machine so that it will recognize anything above um, four cores or four threads. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to navigate to where your virtual machine is saved. Now, if you look up here at uh, mine, uh, when I created the virtual machine, all of my virtual machines fall under this, um, under my documents, and then uh, folder virtual machines, and um, then you'll find the virtual machine. So you'll see here I have my different virtual machines, go into the one that I want, and then what we're looking for is the VMX file. Um, as you can see, mine doesn't show file types, but it's going to be the one that has the uh, VMware Player logo that looks like this. If you right-click on it, just hit Properties, it's going to pop up and show you it is a .vmx file, so that's what we're looking for. Alright, so what you'll want to do is go ahead and right-click on that. You're going to want to hit Edit. Now, um, I'm going to be using Notepad++. More than likely, you'll have uh, it'll have Notepad will show up here. Either one is just fine. Um, they're both going to be about the same. They may look a little bit different, um, but they'll work the same way. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Now there's going to be two things in the .vmx file that we'll need to change. The first one is going to be um, the max v CPUs or the max virtual CPUs. Now as you can see, I've already changed mine. Um, when you initially uh, create the virtual machine, the um, the max V CPUs is going to show as the maximum number, the number of CPUs that you set up. So when we're walking through the setup, the maximum it would let you do is four, um, four CPUs or cores or threads. Um, so we want to go ahead and we want to change this and you want to make this number match the actual number of threads that your CPU has. So if your CPU, um, I'm using a 2700K CPU, so I have eight threads. So I'll go ahead, I went ahead and set that to eight. The next thing that you'll want to change, you'll want to look for the NumV CPUs. This is number of virtual CPUs. Now when I initially pulled this up, that's the value that was filled in for this was actually zero, um, but it may show up as a four um, or um, a zero. I've seen it show up both ways. Either way, you want to go ahead and change that as well. You want to make that match the number of threads that your CPU has. So once again, I change that to eight. Once we've done that, go ahead and click your save button. Now it's not going to let me save it because I've already made the changes here. But um, once you've saved that, then go ahead and close out of your notepad there. And then let's go ahead and double click on your virtual machine. When you double click on that, it should take just a minute. It's going to go ahead and actually load your virtual machine. All right, and as it starts to boot up there, okay, and this is just a problem with mine because I've been messing with it. That's, that's uh, go ahead and get rid of it here. All right, and then the way you'll check and make sure that this worked, you'll want to go up to System, go to Administration, and drop down to System Monitor. When you click on that, you just want to make sure that it is showing eight CPUs. And um, as long as it's showing all eight there, then you're just fine. You've got it set up perfect, and uh, we'll be ready to set up the big advanced folding. So I uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and. Um, like always, like, subscribe, comment. If you guys have any questions and need help with this process, do feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be more than happy to jump on here and help you. 
or you can also find me on overclock.net. If you just do a search for Wonder Mutt, I should be the first and only user to pop up there. I uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day.